Hi, it's Wayne O'Keefe. I'm fishing the Mornington Peninsula and uh, there's plenty of traffic around, as you can hear, but um, the water has calmed down just after a very heavy uh, storm and that can be very, very good. The barometric pressure dropped suddenly and now it's come back to a reasonable level. That can be really, really good fishing. The water's a bit discoloured, therefore the fish feel safe. They'll come in to the, um, into the shallows, which is about as far as I can cast, and that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm using burly cages and three or four different types of baits, chicken, prawns, pippy, squid, and I think that is probably the right combination, as long as I get the burly going and bring them in. Let's see how we go. my marker. I'm going to cast to that every time and get that burly happening, move those fish in towards my bait. And if I get the right spot every time, I should get the fish in if they're out there. Just got this one and possibly another one. Okay, small, small, very small salmon on this one. Well, this one caught me by surprise. A very good sized mullet. Um, as you can see, nice, oh, nice big fish. This one's coming home for dinner. But um, it's taken quite a while to get this guy, to get these in, but with the builder going out all the time, um, they're coming in. So thankfully, finally. So we'll just keep going on this. Getting bites on this rod here. But the, um, the real trick is being able to strike it because uh, the, the bait is quite large. And I don't know if the fish are actually going to um, be able to swallow it or not. I might have to reduce the size of the, of the bait to let them swallow. Just as I was getting my other rod set up, I got into this one. Oh. We'll see how big it is. Oh. Oh. It's amazing. It's a small salmon, small salmon, yet it felt so much bigger. Jeez. Okay. Into one now. It's probably a, a mullet, I'd say. Otherwise, it's racing on the shore. Yep, there we go. Not a bad sized mullet. There we go. Okay. There's no other fishermen here. Everyone's gone. There we go. Not a bad sized mullet, that one. I just got off in the shallows. Oh. Okay, got another one. This will be another mullet, I think, in the way it's fighting.
Yeah, and another good sized mullet too. And look at this, look at the size of these things. Oh, not bad at all, hey? The bites are coming in. Oh, I've just caught another one, another mullet. Um, quite a good size too, as you can see. And it's interesting that everybody's gone. Nobody has been uh, fishing for much longer than I have. For instance, I got here, a number of fishermen along here, but they've gone. And as far as I could see, I asked a few of them if they'd caught anything, no catches today. And the only thing I did different was the burley. And I was even using the same bait. They were using chicken. I used some chicken as well. In fact, the chicken outfished the um, prawn today, which is interesting. But the one thing I did with my chicken is I actually marinated it and not for human consumption, but I put it in a little bit of tuna oil, a little bit of garlic powder over the top, spiced it up a bit, made all the difference. And so the burley was attracting, attracting them to the area and looks like they like chicken. So there you go. Well, I fished for now about two and a half hours, I think it would have been. And in that time, I've got five good sized mullets I've got um, a few salmon and I've missed countless bites. I've got a couple really close to the bank and, uh, and lost them, a couple of good sized fish there. It was working really well today. And amazingly, chicken, spiced up chicken, outfished everything else. So it just shows you, try a couple of different things. Sometimes you'll find unusual things at work. So it's all good, but uh, it's getting a bit dark now. So time to move on home and I've got some nice mullet for dinner, barbecue style, so looking forward to that.